things are really starting to crack on now and uh it's been quite strange working under the radar we've been cracking on in secret due to the covid restrictions and due to the fact that southwest lakes trust wanted us to keep it a bit hush hush this site is still not open but we have been working away and we're very very excited by where we've got to we have now completed all of the groundworks. All 780 metres of pathway are in, in two colours, one pathway for the sea and one pathway for the land. That single meandering path runs between earth buns in the sea and between the grounders of the hedges. So father and son team, the Bettisons, who are Bob Minmore hedges going back hundreds of years have been putting in the grounders and that means that the shape of Cornwall is now entirely visible from a drone shot and it's looking funky. The other thing that we have now completed is the centrepiece. You may recall we put out uh, a call for artists to come up with an idea for something in the centre and we went through this whole journey of um, sifting through the wonderful applications we had and shortlisting people, interviewing over Zoom. And the great news is that our independent panel selected the father and son team of the Thrussels who live here. They're literally 200 yards away, On their the workshop. The A30. Not the A30, this little road here. They live in the farm just there. Um, this is almost their back garden. And you'll see this beautiful, subtle metalwork that they've created in the middle that is a microcosm within the macrocosm, a labyrinth within the labyrinth, which is like your mind in the universe. I love it, I love it. Um, so that's all in place now. What happens next? In the spring, because you don't want to be out here in the middle of bombing war in the middle of winter, in the spring, the Guild of Cornish Hedges come back and help oversee the training programme. We always wanted there to be a new cohort, a new generation of people who've got the skills of building the perfect Cornish hedge. And uh, this site becomes the Outdoor University of Cornish Hedging. And so right all the way through next year, There'll be teams of apprentices, trainees. We'll also be opening it up for days of tasters and volunteers to come up. Our ambition is that one and all, everyone in Cornwall can go, I put that stone in there. And when you show your great grandchildren, that's the stone I put into Kadroya. You know, that's, uh, that's the ambition, yeah? Okay, so we now have spent all our money. <laughs> We've got some money left to cover the training but actually, what we still need to do is pay for the actual building of these hedges. And that works out at a couple hundred quid every yard. And so we began this hedge pledge back in the spring. And in 10 days flat, we had sold 77 stretches of hedge, which we were delighted. And then along came a little thing called COVID lockdown. <laughs> Boom, stopped dead. So... We're going back out live now with the opportunity. And what you get is one of these little plaques created by the Thrussels right here. And that has your inscription in it. And we've had some beautiful and really quite moving things. People remembering their wedding, people wishing it to their grandchildren, people in memorial of someone they've lost. Um, and you get it on your spot of Cornwall that means something to you. Could be your mother-in-law's house. She would be delighted with that. She would love it. <laughs> Could be the place you first met your true love. Could be just the number that means something special to you, but the number of your house, I don't know, something. So people have got lots of different reasons they've chosen that spot. Um, and they're selling pretty well. And of course, there are certain bits that are really more popular than others. But there are... What's popular at the moment? Well, everybody wants to get Mount's Bay. And, and the main. Everybody wants to get Land's End. Everybody wants to get the Lizard Point. You know, these, these are very popular and iconic places. Um, I have to say there's still quite a lot available up in East and North Cornwall, um, which is where I come from. So- Is Bude sold out? There are some that have gone up there, uh, but I think there are still quite a few available. <laughs> I can't remember off the top of my head, but anyhow.
So when do you expect the, pro the project to be completed fully? 100 years. <laughs> uh, we are deliberately being directly about this. We're going to be up here all year, all year next year, training people, and we'll work from February, March, right through to September, October. When we get to that point, we may have finished the building of the hedges, or we may go, we've got to come back again in 2022. And after that, we've got a whole planting regime that's got three yearly stages in terms of, we want to make sure we're using the indigenous Cornish furs, Ilex gallii, that's, that's the Cornish gorse. We want to make sure we're using the local strain of hawthorn as we plant. And quite honestly, it will continue to evolve and change through our life lifetimes. It ain't going to be finished next Tuesday the 7th or whatever, you know what I mean? It's, it's, it will keep growing and keep changing. And it will be completely free to visit? It will be completely free to visit. I, that was intrinsic in the idea from the word go for me. One of the things I always wanted about the man engine was that he's going to come to your street and your town and you can experience this thing where you live. Well, you've got to, you've got to come here for this one. I can't move it to you. <laughs> but it's here and it will be free and it will be open and it'll be here 24-7, 365 days a year, full moon. <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> so it will be free. It will be open to one and all. Uh, and it will be a place for people to come and contemplate our amazing landscape. To, it's a place to say thank you to the Cornwall AOMB for 60 years of preserving and looking after our amazing landscape. Um, and to just revel in this extraordinary location.